our till number four of uh, this single light speed quiz. Every yeah. exciting place, all 13 people. The buzzers are rolling, and the subject has been chosen by Debs McDonald. Where's it you? And the subject is dinner ladies. Are you listening, Diane Halligan? Okay, next first is this. Good luck, everybody. Who played in, created, <laughs> Michael McFarlane, Victoria Woods? Give any year during which. It's Christmas! 1998. Yeah. 2000. <laughs> oh, 1999 or 2000. It's me! Steve Rose gets one, gives him a round of applause earlier. He's, well, he's been thirsting for it. Uh, two points. You're in the joint lead on the dinner ladies round, Steve. Hope you found it as who did Victoria would play? <laughs> Ashton. Brenda Salem. Yeah, Brenda was sufficient <laughs> and you are four hundredths of a second behind. Uh, it's just no prison at all. Ashton, you get that. Love it. Name either the second or the thirteenth episode of Dinner Ladies, both of which share their name. It's Christmas. Debs. <laughs> Royals. Both of which share their names with UK number one. The latter, a Robin just, Williams song, the earlier, the Grammy me. winning Song of the Year for Lardy. Yeah, right. she, she, right, yeah right. she, she got it. She got it, Royals. Absolutely. Dolly Belfield. <laughs> Debs. Thelma Ball. He's correct. Get in there. Boom. Two points. And another two points. What part in Dinner Ladies was played by the actress who played Valerie Barlow? <laughs> Matt Preston. Uh, uh, Sodna Goldpick, is that how you pronounce Sodna it? Sodna Goldpick is the right answer. Or how have you pronounced Not it? Not! <laughs> McDonald. Jean. Jean is the correct <laughs> answer. <laughs> Preston, you lose a point. <laughs> and McDonald. <laughs> I think uh, uh, only you and Ashton have threed out on your own round so far. I'm pretty sure only... You, yeah. you got three, didn't you? Got you three three yeah. No. Credit where credit's due. You should have been in your clothes on the other two as well. Number seven. What is the three-letter acronym? It's, it's Christmas. <laughs> yeah, you know it's HWD. Look to Debs if you want the right answer. You've got two points there, Sam. During the season one finale of Dinner Ladies, it was called Night Shift, by the way. What occupation does temporary man have? It's Christmas! Michael McDonald. I'm a lighthouse keeper. How does that hurt? Oh, that's a good answer. That is a, that is a, good that is a killer. <laughs> Great answer. Lighthouse keeper. Uh, uh, Nicola Bordeaux take up after the resignation. So, Michael, you must be very pleased with that one. Yeah. Kudos. What number are we on now? Two to go. From the early Dinner Ladies episode, Scandal, Name Petula's It's Clint. Clint. And she oh. falls it. Awesome. Give her a round of applause. Nobody else has fought yet. Um, that wasn't much of a round of applause. No. <laughs> Thank you. Right, you've got 16 points on this round. In the TV series Dinner Ladies, which Manchester suburb does the occasion... It's Christmas. Sam. Minus one. Deb, you're coming up in a minute, but you have to listen to Sam losing a point here. It's a good answer. Oh, music to my ears. Uh, McDonald. Um, five. Oh, you were far more right, you're gonna get harsh you. with me. Oh, you're gonna get me oh, this oh, long me. Shut up, William. Can't concentrate. Um. <laughs> Right, you're out, I'm afraid, of that one. Minus two for you on that one. That's such a shame. No, it's McPartland. I didn't bust. I know. Uh, <laughs> I think I know what it would be. I went for the chest. Um, the TV series, which matches the suburb did you occasionally see in Babs? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's Lake Christmas. Off. Mostly. No. Uh, Ashton. Uh, Rhodes. Rhodes. Vince. Cool. McPartland. All three of them. Please. Moss side. Chris. <laughs> Martin. Can I tell you at the end? Martin. <laughs> I don't know, Bivingshaw. Preston. Where Sam lives in Presswich. 
No. Is it over now? Go on, tell them. It's Ermiston. It's Ermiston, yes. Kate Robinson. Uh, played by... Kate Robinson. Kate Robinson, Kate Robinson. Kate Robinson. absolutely. So, uh, nobody loses any of the other points there. We're on to general knowledge. Oh, no, we're not! Go on, go on. Do it all the time. Mr. Pokemon! Don't forget, we're on question one, so hopefully everybody's got a shot at this one. The single word, Pokemon... Martin! Pocket Monsters is correct. Can you look over him and give him a bit of a go on there? <laughs> uh, lots of people in there. Pocket Monsters. Look at McDonald and Lee's on the same score as well, 44.7. Martin, two for you. Attach Metal Clog. Spelled like Metal Clog and Attach. <laughs> is an anagram of which four word catchphrase in <laughs> Lee's? Gotta catch them all. Yeah. Leave the singing to me, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well done. Uh, he dealt with associated with How Pokemon. How far were you so, in front of me there? Uh, he was oh, like, like loads in front of you. This huge gap of about half a second. Oh. Well, quarter of a second anyway. Yes? I'm just sighing and yawning. <laughs> Sorry, don't need to ask you to yawn. Three. <laughs> <laughs> Give any of the release years of the original Pokemon game in the majority of the world. Ashton. <laughs> Not 88. Laycock. 96. Only just. The first well, release in Japan was in 1996. You could have had a dinner ladies double on 1999 as well. So uh, it was 1996 oh, to 1999 throughout the world. Uh, Laycock, you get the points. Well, good answer. I like it. I can also. Okay, careful on this one. Careful now. He's. <laughs> right. Mewtwo in the first Pokemon film. The Empire in the second made Star Wars film. And Jay and Silent Bob in Kevin Smith. Who's oh, it going to be? Martin. Strikes back. Strikes back is the correct answer. In Jay and Silent Bob's name. Strike back. Will Ferrell's in it. It's a great Snookies. film. Right. Uh, so, Ma Martin, that's my favourite for two points of the day for you. Well done. Which multinational company publishes Leeds? Atari. No. <laughs> Minus two. Gone. Absolutely gone. Oh, I wish I was playing against you now. I texted your girlfriend on Facebook saying, I beat him, I beat him, I beat him. <laughs> Preston. Nintendo. It's two points uh, on Pokemon for you. I was going to go for Nintendo. Yeah, it's, it's easy to change your mind when you, when you feel you're on the back foot. Next Frost. one. Which species of Pokemon was the first to be adopted by Ash Ketchum? Uh, oh, point four of a second. Uh, McPartland. Pikachu. Pikachu is absolutely correct. How could it be? Yeah, again, that's obvious, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it probably should have been quite that question for that. McDonald. No, no McPartland. What happens to a Pokemon if it lay on? I'm afraid uh, that's not the answer. Uh, so, uh, Laycock loses a point. It's two people. Preston. I would say it develops. It grows, doesn't it? Leaves. Dies. No. <laughs> Man is two for Leaves. <laughs> oh, it is. Oh, thank you. You might not be pressing much, but you're keeping your eyes on the scoreboard. <laughs> hey, what happens to a Pokemon if it loses a fight? Uh, Childs. Captured in the Pokedex. Bloody no. Ooh. Oh no, come on. Chris. It becomes the slave of the winner. No. But that way. It's knocked out. Yeah, it's knocked out. It's oh, faint. 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 Can I, I can accept knocked out, can't I? Yeah, yeah, it's the same thing. It's a little are you, are you angry? Do uh, you yeah, feel wound I, I up this I Christmas? In, I jumped in, I <sighs> So, uh, Matt Parlin, do you get a lovely two points there? It's a stinker, eh? I'm glad I can't see Clive scowling at me during this round. He's fantastic. Uh, the only one. I can see you. Well, full on. Uh, 
Which two colours labelled the original <coughs> Lake Up? Red and blue. Red and blue is correct. Leaves you with tenth of a second behind. That's an age. I love it. Give him some of his own medicine on the fist pump thing. I told you when you put it on Facebook you might have made a mistake with Pokemon, mate. I talked him out of Liverpool. So, here we go. In Pokemon, name the gym leader of Leeds. Brock. Childs. Professor Rook. No, minus one, minus one. Minus two. Minus two. Minus two. Minus two for Lee. Minus two for Lee. Minus one for Charles. Told you. No way. Liverpool, William. 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 Liverpool, Misty. It, is yeah. Misty. Oh, it was Brock or Misty. Oh, Misty. Have you heard? Sorry? Have you heard about her? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Stop it. An anime. Yeah, I'm so angry. I'm so angry. <laughs> <laughs> I've punished the bitch next time you're playing. Next one is this. Uh, last one on the, these general laws. At number 39. On the original Pokedex, which Pokemon species uses its eyes and lullabies? <laughs> Lee. Jigglypuff. Yay! Yay! That's zero. <laughs> Four points. Pulling a load back there. Well done. Five to go on this set. Give two of Prince Andrew's three other first names. Ashton. Um, <coughs> Albert Philip. No. Lacon. Edward Albert. No. Yes! Yes! Edward Albert. <laughs> Albert Edward, yes. Uh, you've got that. So two points for you, Mark. No points away for Ashton. What are we to Four to go on this. The cameras are still rolling only just. Saddison. Wolf. <laughs> Michael McPartland. You have two points without me even looking at you. <laughs> Uh, Major Walter Clopton Wingfield. <laughs> Clive. Dennis. Yes, hello, welcome back to the real world, Clive. You are <laughs> the very use of tennis. Major Clopton Wingfield, whatever, something, something, something. Fred W. Hayes, Jr. was played by Bill Paxton. T. Kenneth Matthew. <laughs> Clive. <laughs> yes, Matthew by Kevin Bacon oh, and Commander James A. Lovell by Tom Hanks in which movie, Apollo? 13. Yeah. Clive, that's a very useful two points. At the end. Four points at the end of this round. Next one. Last one. Who was appointed Governor of New York in 1890? Laycock? Oh, I was going to say Van Buren, but it's not too late. Who was appointed Governor of New York in 19, 1898? Sorry. Vice President to William McKinley. Please. <laughs> Teddy Roosevelt. Teddy Roosevelt, the right one. Uh, let me just round this off before you all go. The winners of that particular combined round, when I give Lee his two points, he got more on the general knowledge than he did on his Pokemon set. Uh, up front, in the lead by a long chalk on that, Des McDonald with 16 points. Come on, everybody else has scored. Well done. We'll be taking a break and be back in a minute. You'll be getting to the bell.